Alright guys, AS Farming here, and welcome to another mod review. So, today is uh, Tuesday, the, well, the, the day after Giants have got back, uh, we're into the new year now. Um, we've had the first lot of mods since Giants have been back. Um, now, none of these machines you see in front of you are mods. These are going to be demonstrating... Uh, the new mod pack we received today from CSZ. Now the pack is so big with um, like um, what's it called it tools to put on these machines that I just wouldn't be able to fit it in the shop. There is an absolute massive amount um, of machines that um, are in this pack so if we go into the shop uh, and look at C um, as said so we'll start off um, there are various bucket sizes to start off with uh, so you've got your skid steer one telehandler it's got two oh so you've got front loader then telehandler uh, wheel loader uh, has two obviously varying in sizes from 1500 to 5000 so some some pretty big buckets uh, there's nothing customizable on them um, they are just obviously you know the standard uh, CS CSZ uh, multi-purpose buckets like these are hold um, all the fruits uh, that are in Farming Simulator. So I mean, they are really, really um, good buckets to have, in my opinion, um, and hold a lot more than the the in-game ones would. Um, like I think the in-game Telian holds two thousand, whereas this is an extra th um, thousand, so this is three thousand. Um, and obviously they do get dirty and everything like that. Um, so that's those buckets. We've also then got um, pretty much those buckets but with a grab um, on the front of it as you can see. Sort of like a a, um, a muck bucket. Um, again, you've got a bucket for each um, what uh, each machine um, all these tools for whatever they'll attach to will appear um, in that set uh, category so this is a skid steer loader bucket so it'll appear in the uh, skid steer loader category um, I think as well considering how much they hold and they hold everything I think they're fairly well priced to be fair um you know they're very detailed what should look metal it does look metal you know you can see the shine on the metal there and i mean if we purchase one we'll purchase the telehandler one and just have a quick look at it so really really nicely detailed you've obviously got your pipes on the back which if I hop into this guy and hook it up like so all your pipes are hooking on properly as you can see there's a bit of a clip through there um, but um, I think overall it looks quite good. It is very detailed. You now you've got your nuts and bolts, you can see in really high detail. Um, and then obviously you've got your grab. So quite handy I would I would say for if you wanted to move perhaps small logs. Um, it's quite a good uh, manure bucket as you can see. 
just lifting that up. Yeah, so the another problem with this would be if you put it all the way down, you've got the spikes clipping through. It's not such a good thing. So that's a bit of a problem there, but mm, yeah. If you're not too bothered about that, I wouldn't worry too much, but um, yeah, it does clip through the bucket, which is a shame. Uh, moving on, we've then got another similar bucket, but this is instead of got sort of a chrome um, grab, this has got a uh, black uh, grab as well. So again, very highly detailed. Again, all these buckets are going to hold all your fruits. Um, what does it say? This game does not include this one. So yeah, I'm not sure what these buckets are. They're called Raptor buckets. But I'm not sure what they do. says they discharge which I would say they probably if you turn it on they probably have an animation but um, oh, that's those buckets you've then got um, your buckets for sugar beets and potatoes which are quite good again they all come with each machine if you want it for a skid steer you can put it on a skid steer if you want it on a telly and you can put it on a telly handler um, you've then got that bucket in a version with a grab which is cool um, again seems like the same sort of bucket there Another one with a different sort of grab on it. There's so many versions of buckets they've um, they've put out. Like I said uh, at the start of the video, you, you know, already we're only about quarter way through the pack, and and I still probably wouldn't have been able to fit every single one of what we've seen so far. Uh, again, another bucket with a certain discharge. Um, I would, my guess would be, is they obviously do something, um, on PC. Ah, yes, this is a cool, we'll buy this bucket and show this one. If we do the front loader one. And hop into our front loader. So this bucket is quite cool. I hook it up. So this is going to be your uh, hopper bucket. This is called. Again, every version for each machine. So basically, how this will work is if I. Uh, whoops. I've got a new side panel today, so I'm just working out the buttons. Right. So. There you go. So basically, with this, pretty much, if you've got some, some pig food, perhaps, that you want to scoop up um, out of a shed or somewhere, you can scoop that up and then put the bucket up like that and there's a little hatch underneath the bucket where if you open it with the controller uh, that little hatch will open as if you're um, feeding it out so if I on my R1 and then with the right um, stick, this is on PS4 obviously 
that hat, as you can see, will open and close. Which I think is a really cool feature. Only, again, the shame is the um, hydraulic hoses are clipping through the bucket, which is a big shame. But other than that, if I fill it up, and then hang on. If I go like this, it should come out the bottom, like so. Which I think is really cool. Look at that. So I think that's a really cool feature for feeding your animals. And obviously again this is um, a multi um, multi-fruit bucket so obviously comes with a, a different camera angle as well. you can see a bit better which is quite cool as well I think I'm not sure if all of these yeah most of these buckets have got that as well so again if that's a bit of a deal breaker for you this pack probably isn't going to be for you but if you can get over that they are really nice so that's the hopper bucket you've then got these which if memory serves, uh, if you've got things, this would be quite good for um, if you're doing, if you're not doing silage bows, but you've got um, a silage uh, bunker. This is quite good. There's a, um, I think there's a, like this this machine for example. There's like a little chute on the front where it um, scoops the silage off the the bunker um and into the the hopper um and with this bucket same similar um idea it'll scoop it off the silage bunker but um instead of obviously into that hopper it'll do it into the bucket which i think is really good um not sure if it if you could do it where um like for for cleaning the animal um, uh, feed trough, you could give that a go. But I'm sure I wouldn't see why it wouldn't work. But definitely, if you want to um, give that a go, that'd be quite another nice machine. Uh, you've obviously got various adapters. Um, the different buckets so which is quite good and there you go so you've got an adapter for three point linkage on on two that would be a telehandler so that's good various adapters that's like a, a forklift, you can, so you can put that on your front loader, wheel loader, which is good. And then the, the thing that has really sold me with this pack is there is automatic loading bale forks, which I think is, is awesome. So, there's so many, if we pick one, that's quite interesting, bail grab like that, so 
as so, as like I say, I mean, you really have to, to be honest. I definitely would recommend downloading this pack because there is just so so many um, tools in this pack. So if I buy some bales, I think it was square bales. grab the wheel loader hook this up so unfold it Or is this just a normal bale fork? This could be just a normal bale fork. It still picks them up quite nice. Ah, it's square for load bales. So if you click square. see. Oh, that's a bit interesting. They're still attached for some reason. You see, this problem happened with another bale um, auto loader. And it seems to me it's happened again. It must be something to do with giants, because um, no matter how far you go away, look, it's still attached to the bales for some reason. And you can't get rid of that, those bales until you sell the fork. If we try it with another one of them, it's really weird. It must be Giant's, um, what's it, engine, which you can't have these auto-loading bale forks. If we try and find the square one for a telehandler. Try that. See now, they're not attached. It um, it's really odd. I mean, to be fair, you could probably grab bales with this um, bucket. I'd have thought. No, it clips through. That wouldn't be very handy. It's good to test these things though, I I think. So we'll see if we have the same problem with the telehandler one. I've changed this spike um so length size on them as well, so Oh, come on, let get off me. Uh, unfold it. So it'll hold two, which is cool. Transport position. And then we want to unload the bales. And the bales here. Is that going to let go of them? Nice. It's it's an odd one. I'm not sure if giants can explain it, or if anybody in the comments can. But it is really odd. 
how it how it does it. Because that was the main reason I downloaded this um, this pack. Yeah, it's really hard. Right with my side panel, so number nine. Yeah, it's very hard. Sell that. And if it's if you sell it, it's fine. So yeah. Bit of an odd one at the moment with auto loading barrel forks. Uh, it might work on PC, saying that, but I'm on console, um, and as far as I'm aware, it's not working. I mean, we could try um, these forks, see if it works. Uh, do it like that. Try that one, see if that... Um, works any differently. I don't think it probably will, but... There must be perhaps a sort of a fix to it, or... Maybe it's just because you can't do it with... Um, purchase bales, perhaps. So, if we want to... Any way of unfolding this, perhaps? No. Oh, there you go, there's that. Load square bales. Huh. These don't even want to load. Have I got the right one? This is me. Yes, this won't. This is for square bales, and I'm loading square bales, or perhaps this doesn't auto load, oh, it doesn't seem to want to pick them up at all, just clips right through. So yeah, interesting one with that as well, so that doesn't seem to be working. So you've got uh, wrapped bale handers for your wrapped bales. Got some more auto loading bale forks. So those are for round bales. We could try and see if they work. Um, Tally handler. And if I purchase some round bales, so yeah, it's looking like as long as you're not bothered about the bale forks, I'd recommend this pack, but. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so that has worked. So this round one does seem to work. Yeah, so this one does seem to work. Which is good, considering none of the others are working. Um, okay, so we could perhaps try and see if another round bow fort will work. 
could be just a bug with the square bios. Um, we want Taliana. So we'll pop this one down and we'll give this it's the same sort of fork as the one we were using for the square bales, but this just takes round bales. So we'll see if this works. Okay, so it loads it fine, which is good. So we want to transport position. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Want to unload the bale. Yep, so it's doing it with round bales as well. It's interesting that it does it with this fork, but it doesn't do it with this. It must be something to do with the spikes. You can't be scripting the spikes. Because look, it still thinks it's um, it's on the on the spikes. Look, it doesn't think there's a, a an object here. It still thinks it's on the spikes. So yeah, an interesting one that. So going back to the pack. At the moment, I wouldn't recommend using the bale spikes. That is apparent. Um, those would be fine because they're not auto loaders. These appear to be working, so that would be good. So you could. So if you want to do round bales, using this grab is fine. Uh, this is a bale fork grabber with long teeth. I would imagine, because that's got spikes, it probably won't work. But we can give it a go. Is there any other... It's got a uh, bag handler. What else is the uh, got manure forks? So quite a big manure forks. That's quite a big one for eleven hundred liters. Italian list two one. They're quite big. Uh, Multi-purpose fork, which are quite good as well. That's going to be for your silage, manure, wood chips, that sort of thing. Same as the uh, these ones as well. Um, more sort of silage forks. Got again the same sort of thing, but with a grab on the front. Some big, they're big forks. They are. They're obviously both for wheel loaders, but like this one, I hold seven and a half thousand liters, which is a huge amount. Uh, you've got some pallet forks, which are quite quite nice. I haven't, I haven't seen the pallet forks before. Pallet fork with a grabber. It's interesting, I haven't seen that before either. Um, double pallet forks, you can pick two pallets up at the same time, which would be quite good if you want to be loading stuff fast. Uh, a log fork. Again, very handy. Uh, shovel for logs. Quite a nice looking bit of kit. Uh, what's that? Sling for lifting. So I would say, got lifting arms. It's obviously going to be something to do with these lifting arms. Which look quite good. Lifting hook. Extension for lifting. Uh, so this is uh, your levelers for doing um, 
like if you when you um doing your your silage bunkers um this is for like leveling out um the chaff in in the um in the silage bunkers and then you've got some big ones here as well that's like uh in real life when you want to be pushing up grain so they they're really i mean they're called light and heavy blade but they're they're grain pushers in other words really uh you've got a scraper which is quite cool seen them before um different sort of scraper heavy extension which is quite interesting cage that's quite cool front loader have a look at the telehandler one takes a while to purchase them to be fair um a mixer oh so that's to put in yeah decorative only so this doesn't actually do anything but if you want that extra bit of realism you can put this in your slurry lagoons to mix a slurry so that's quite good and that's it that is the whole pack so i've purchased these we've got this bale fork to try and this is quite good if you're on multiplayer and want to be lifting someone up um that's yeah i, qu I quite like that i mean it, it's not really very useful it'd be quite useful i suppose for taking high screenshots of things because obviously on console um we don't have the option of flying up like you can in pc so that might come quite in handy to be fair we shall try this bale fork though i think to be honest this this pack has got a few teething problems um which need to be obviously ironed out um but i mean on the whole it is it is a, a nice pack okay so this uh, this is like a this is a manual loading bale fork If I pop this on here, like so. Whoops, I don't tip the whole thing over already. Oh, it's auto loaded it there. Um, that's grabbed it. Pop it there. Yes, that one's worked, which is interesting. So the 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 two like sort of side grabs for for the round bales do um, work. It's just a bit odd. It auto loaded them and now it doesn't seem to want to auto load them. Oh, perhaps they don't work. <laughs> yeah, like I said, there is a few, <laughs> a few teething problems with this pack. Yeah, it's not recognising it again. I think overall there's there's some nice things in this pack but obviously the whole auto load um bail feature needs to be um fixed 
Um, there is obviously something wrong. It's, it's some bug. <laughs> There's obviously some bug in um in it. As you can see. <laughs> yeah, there's obviously some bug, but I mean things like this, um and the lifters, this is quite a nice featured bucket. Um It's just a shame things like the hoses you on most of the buckets are clipping through like there you can see. Um if we go around here some buckets are clipping through the actual um, uh, headstock, but I would say I'd probably give it a seven out of ten. Just the the, the just bec a seven out of ten because obviously it has got its flaws. Um, it is a shame that the auto loading bail forks don't seem to want to work, but I don't. I'm not sure if that's uh, CSZ's um, fault. I think that could be something to do with Giants because there was an auto load bail fork uploaded to the mod hub which um, had the same similar problem with bail still being attached to the, the fork. Um, but um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, I definitely recommend having a play around with this pack yourselves um, yeah there are there are some good good things in this pack to be fair and, and I mean things like you know if hydraulic hoses don't really bother you like th that I'd recommend getting it but um, yeah let me know what you guys think down below uh, if you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next mod review. Thank you very much for watching.